What's up YouTube, it's Danny with Swamp and Stomp. We are so excited to give you guys an announcement. So we are now part of the Arrow Hunter team and our upcoming giveaway is actually gonna be an Arrow Hunter saddle. So one of you lucky subscribers are gonna be able to get your hands on one of the latest and greatest saddles. Actually, uh, make sure you check out our Patreon page to get more entries into this giveaway. The longer you stay a Patreon member, you get more more entries um, that way and you get all kinds of cool merch that we're going to be putting out. Uh, we'll give you details down in the descriptions and all the cool stuff that you get with our Patreon subscription. Please make sure that you subscribe and uh, give us a uh, thumbs up if you like our videos and hit the bell notification because now that it's hunting season me and Mark are going double time on um, putting out content. Please make sure that you check out our Instagram page for all the new and latest things that we're putting out because uh, you know, sometimes if we don't have a video, we'll go ahead and we'll drop it on the Instagram. So this is our Instagram page right up here. I think that's all I got. So you guys go ahead and enjoy this video and uh, please let us know what you think. What's up guys? Danny was Swamp Stomp and today's the first day for me in the woods. Um, it's August 29th, it's open or down here in uh, one of my favorite hunting areas. Um, Mark and uh, Alex are set up a little ways down, down the trail here. Let's see if we uh, catch it. Any of these bugs come cruising through. We got a couple of shooters. Uh, some are borderline, but nothing, nothing really big this season so far on camera. We got a nice eight pointer. Um, hopefully, once a, one of us gets a chance at him. So it's a beautiful morning. A little, a little humid as usual for Florida. But uh, I had a little bit of a rough start this morning when I was pulling up my uh, my bow and my my string it got caught up on my backpack and rolled it a bunch of stuff fell out it was it was a mess it was a, a sight to see but uh finally got set up and it's been pretty quiet so far oh. so we'll see what happens Zone A. This is a spot that I shot two bucks last season. Super excited. Okay, so basically what I got going on, I got an open pond to my right. <clears throat> I got trails coming in from all sides of me, like all over the place. The wind is blowing straight at my face right now, which means there's trails back there there's one going this way and there's one that way so if something comes from that side my wind's gonna blow right at it the trails 50 yards away so they might not pick me up and hopefully they'll skirt right past and come down this trail and I'll get a 20 yard shot but just in case I always do this and people think I'm crazy for it I bring a little bit of estrus dough piss and I actually spray my clothes with it and honestly I don't really mind the smell um, but I had an encounter one time where I had a buck it was actually at this WMA not too far from here I had a buck coming in due like straight downwind from me and um, <clears throat> I didn't know what to do so I just started spraying this he eventually caught the scent and came like running towards me. And since it's the same time frame right now, it's rut. I put some estrus dough piss on. I hope that it covers my scent a little bit. This is really exciting too because the last two seasons, this opener has been closed because of hurricanes. So we've kind of missed the rut every year. So we're really excited for this particular hunt. <clears throat> I'm gonna put you guys away.
so it's about it's about 828 and I, I just had a little bug come through um, not very big it wasn't a shooter and uh, shortly after that I had, had another hunter walk through so he kind of lingered around for a little bit and uh, got his attention it was very respectful and got out of the area um, right now it feels like the, the wind is starting to change and kind of sitting a few hundred yards um, down this trail he's actually been getting quite a bit of uh, action he had a little spike come by a spike that was still in velvet and then uh, about 30 minutes later a doe came by we were kind of expecting he was going to shoot one because the bucks are already chasing but I haven't heard anything since so I'm assuming Nothing's happened. I'm expecting in like the next half hour the deer are going to start wanting to move just because of the, the moon phase. I don't know how much I believe in the moon phase, but it's nice to think about. It keeps you, keeps you positive. So the spike that Alex had come by his stand just came through here. He was like 10 yards away. Um, I kind of knew that he would eventually come this way because I know we're kind of sitting on a similar trail and he was headed this way. But I was kind of waiting for him. And I'm pretty, close, pretty happy with how that went because um, so he came from like this trail right here and he came around right down here my wind is blowing that way and so I wanted to see if a deer could pick me up if they were on that trail and he did not he had no idea I was here so that's good so that deer he actually came through a spot that I'd never seen any deers move through um, he came from this back of the palmetto area, so the palmetto flat, and then it bucked up next to a, a swamp. Um, kind of interesting that he came from there because I've hunted this spot multiple times and never really had any gears come from that direction, at least not that I can see. Uh, today I'm set up a little different. I'm on a, a different you know, kind of line of trees from what I usually set up on, but uh, I like the visibility that I got here. I have way more visibility. Being that I'm hiring out of a saddle this year, actually, I get, you know, it's really easy to see all the way around me. Um, the it's been working out. Uh, this hybrid is actually really, really comfortable. Um, I don't really miss my tree stand at all, setting this thing. Last year, I did try out the uh, sit track, and I'm telling you, I sat in there for like maybe three hours. It's miserable.
quicker movement in the morning, so we're really hoping that something happens this morning. Mark set up um, a little ways from here, from where I'm at, and uh, I'm pretty much in the same spot where I was yesterday. We've been getting a lot of uh, activity, usually right in the morning on the cameras, so we'll see what happens. Hey guys, so it's the second day of opening weekend. It's still pretty early, it's probably like 7.30 or something. Um, I'm usually not one for calling, especially at a spot like where I'm at. It's kind of like a transition area where bucks are just kind of moving through the area. Um, they're not really like bedding around, but it is so calm today there's no wind at all um so sound can carry pretty far so i've got a rattle bag i'm just gonna rattle a little bit very softly because it's it's pre-rut so i imagine there are some bucks kind of just sparring a little bit but you know not really fighting so some time to let Mark know now and uh hopefully hopefully it doesn't go far ahead with the um the G5 Montec or I don't know if it's Montec or G but it's G5 whatever the fixed plates it's kind of cornering to me I don't think it's my best shot I've ever made but definitely not the worst just the way that you described it him like running and going into a bush and not coming out it's exactly how it was with that doe that I got shot last season 
and all the people told me that, like all the dog people, they were like, like if you check the arrow and you see guts and you saw where it bedded down, stay the fuck away from it because it will it will not move. It will stay right there and and die. But you just got to give it eight hours. Um. So, just give it some time. Keep an eye on it. And uh, well, yeah, I'm just saying, just just keep an eye on on the spot you saw him go into. And um, if uh, you know, obviously, if you see him come out, take note of it. But it, if not, when you get down, we'll check the arrow. Um, and if it's guts, I say we just skirt around him, leave him laying there for a while. Dude, you th you think it's that eight? Yeah. That's awesome, dude. All right, well, let's give it, you know, like an hour. Okay, cool. All right, let me know later. So Danny just shot a buck. <clears throat> He's not sure. He's not sure on the shot. He thinks it might be a little bit far back. So we're going to stay in our tree stands for another hour, um, <clears throat> and then we'll go track it. came off. One of, yeah, one of the fletchings came off and I didn't want to pull it out. I wanted to wait till you were here. But I can't see anything. There's blood. There's right? blood for sure. No, um, no signs of guts. You want to pull it out so you can look at it? Just try not to touch it too much. Here, you can touch that, that end. It's in the oh, dirt in yeah. but... What is that? Is. That looks like liver. Right? There's blood on it. I mean, it. there's definitely blood, like, I mean, you may have gotten guts, um, liv know. liver, and, um, there's a lot of blood up here. Yeah, there's a lot of blood on that part. Mm -hmm. This smells like liver, this little bit right here, yeah. straight up liver. Okay. Yeah, and then there's... Is there stuff on those trees? Well, let's... I'm gonna stick it right back in the ground here. Oh, that's the six. It's the six. No, it's not. It's an eight. Hell oh, yeah. Nice, dude. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Man, I was getting nervous for a second. Holy shit. That's the exit one right there. Yeah, that's where it came out. So, yeah, I definitely got liver and stuff on the way out. Oh, man. Nice. Roll oh, them over. 
I don't even think we have him on camera. I got him on camera, dude. You, you did get him? Yeah. Dude, that's a perfect little eight, dude. <laughs> Hell yeah, <laughs> man. That's awesome. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and log this buck. When do you have to log a buck? As soon as you find it. So they have this new uh, thing that they're doing in Florida. They've been doing it for two years where it's a tag system. Being that we're only allowed to have five um, deers throughout the year, I think two of them are allowed to be does and you can do three bucks. So we've got to log them whenever we find the deer and that's what I'm gonna do right now. You have to log it when you find it and then you have to call it in or uh, report it online um, either within 24 hours of uh, logging it before you gut it uh, or before it leaves the state, whichever one comes first. Yeah, just make sure that you um, look up the rules and know what you're supposed to be doing. We are not responsible if you break the rules. Subscribe now. You know, I would throw it on my back like Cameron Haynes, but he's full of ants. So yeah, yeah, that's the excuse. I'm not gonna do that. Yesterday, uh, we got out here and you know we have a bunch of bucks on camera and all kinds of animals. Um, I had a buck come in early in the morning. He wasn't a shooter, but um, sure enough, you know we came back in in the afternoon. Ended up seeing a bunch of does and such. Um, and then this morning, first thing, like right around 8:15, 8:20, this guy came walking in, and uh, he came across this little trail and then came over and started eating some vegetation right over here, and then looked like he was gonna give me a perfect outside shot but as I drew up he kind of turned and looked at me and um, I put it right right behind the shoulder as you can see I went a little further back than, uh, than I intended but um, let it fly and you see man it was a good shot um, looks like we got some liver and some lung he didn't go very far at all uh, he probably went what do you say about 30 yards or so yeah maybe 40 uh, we have a bunch of other bucks on camera but this one in particular, I only have once on, on my camera. He's definitely uh, the nicest bug we have on camera too. Yeah, so it was really nice that uh, it, kind of, it really worked out. Um, it leaves something else for us to shoot in the upcoming yeah. weeks. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, man, he's, he's a good sized deer. Um, I'm really happy with it. This is my first time hunting this season. So it, it, uh, it all came together really well. Uh, opening weekend, baby! On the board. <laughs>